everyone welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me here today so i know i have been gone since two weeks and i know that i shouldn't be doing that i'm going to continue making videos and putting them up on tuesdays and fridays from this week onward if you guys follow me on instagram you will know i had put up a picture of a skull makeup which i was filming but my battery died and the camera stopped recording the entire thing and I only have a half clip of that. I put the picture right here somewhere on the screen. Uh, so if you guys like that, do let me know in the comments down below if you want me to recreate it. I will for sure make a video on that again. But for today, I'm going to be doing a makeup look which is related to a pumpkin. I'm sure your Instagram feeds must be filled with pumpkin posts. So I thought why not make today's video about a spooky pumpkin holiday, Halloween um, related. So if you guys want to see how I get that look, please keep on watching. So for primer, I'm going to use Angel Veil by NYX. And I like this primer because it does help in keeping the makeup on for a longer time because it's very tatty. But it's smoothing at the same time. Like it's not very heavy on the skin and it still works. Which is perfect. I'm going to move on to foundation and I'm not going to color correct or anything today because the more grungy the better and I feel like what gives a better grungy look than a natural grungy look, right? So I'm going to use my Makeup Forever HD Foundation Stick. I love this product. It's so full coverage and so light on the skin. I really do love it. And to blend out into the skin, I'm going to use my Real Technique sponge. And for concealer, I'm going to pick up my Maybelline Age Divine Concealer in the shade Sand. And I'm only going to put it a lot on the under eye and whatever remains on my sponge, I'm going to take that on the forehead. The reason I'm using this concealer is because it's extremely light and I'm not color correcting under my eye because I'm going to smoke it out that much, like that down. And I just want my this area to be brightened. Now when it comes to setting, I'm not going to set the entire face because we're going to work with a liquid liner later on. But I'm going to set my under eyes because I for sure don't want them to crease. And I've used the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder to set it. Let's move on to the eyes. And eyes are going to be extremely easy. I'm going to pick up Mesmerize. I Kajal by Colorbar. It's just like a normal Kajal pencil. I'm just gonna take the Kajal and place it on the eyelid just to create a dark base. And then with my MAC 239 brush, I'm just going to blend it out and smoke it a little bit. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the lower lash line, filling my waterline in, taking the kajal a little bit out and blending it out with the same 239 brush. And I'm going to pick up the Makeup Revolution HD Pro Palette. I'm going to use this shade in the crease. And I'm using the MAC 217 brush to blend it into the crease. And I'm smoking it out all towards my eyebrow because I want this to look grungy and as deep as possible. And making the lower lash line the same. I'm going to pick up the black shadow from the same palette and pat that on to where we've blended the kajal. Now let's move on to the interesting part of the video which is doing the mouth. So since I'm going in for a more pumpkin-y look, I searched on Google carved pumpkins and I'm going to take that carving as a map for my outlining. So well, this is what we're going for right here and I'm going to do my best to recreate it. So to draw the outline of the calf, I'm going to use my Goof Proof Brow Pencil and I feel like brow pencils work the best when you have to carve out anything or do like a Halloween look because you can just easily erase it uh, with your powder or like a foundation but when you do it with your casual pencil it becomes stuck and dark. So since I wanted to concentrate 100% on drawing the map out, 
I am going to do a voiceover and yes I have specs I do not use lenses for videos because that just strains my eyes out um, so here I'm just going to map out the calf And then I'm just going to pick up a liquid eyeliner. This one's by Color Bar. And I'm just going to overdraw whatever we mapped with this. So it gives like a crisp finish to it. And then I'm going to fill the entire thing in with the same eyeliner. I did not film me filling it in because that took too long because I did it with this tiny brush. But I'll show you the finished look in just a second. brows more thicker and make like fake hair like that so i'm gonna take an angular brush dip into the black shadow and and start to carve out my brows makeup which is adding the orange color and for that I'm going to use my Morphe 35O palette and the Makeup Revolution HD Pro palette. So first off I'm going to start with the Makeup Revolution palette taking this gorgeous orange right here and how you would bronze and sculpt your face you're just going to do that with an orange eyeshadow that is it and I'm gonna start with my forehead so I'm just gonna and you really want to do small small areas because you want it to be very very blended so Bye. 
this orange one I want it to be a little deeper so I'm going to pick up my Morphe palette so I'm going to pick up my Morphe palette and pick up this orange slightly deeper so this orange and maybe a little bit of this only only very tightly on the perimeters of my face more flashy this is a what is it called I have no I think this is a liquid eyeshadow it's by sugar I picked this up when I was in Bangkok this summer so I'm just going to take that and going to put the entire look together is the lines that the pumpkins have so again picking up the same liquid eyeliner we're going to start making lines And then using an angular brush and brown eyeshadow, I'm going to draw shadow figures around the lines to make it look more real. And there you have it, a spooky pumpkin face for Halloween. If you guys liked the video, please give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for more such Halloween looks. And you can even comment down below which look you guys want me to do. So I'll definitely start working on that. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.